I've got another Tone King, Sky King on the bench. And when I first saw it, it, the tag said, Amp blew up, and I was concerned this might be the one that I worked on about six months back or whatever it was. But no, this is a different one. And uh, other than the mains fuse having been blown, I don't see any damage to the amp, but I have my suspicions. Um, I'm going to power it on with my current limiter and see where, we're, where it starts out as. All right, so there's no instant in Russia bad current. Now this thing's got a tube rectifier and then a cathode biased pair of 6L6s. And I suspect not just bad 6L6s, but that there was uh, a, a root cause of that. I hope I'm wrong. Let's take it out of standby. I'm gonna watch my current limiter. That was a pretty sudden surge of power there. Usually it's more gradual than that. It's also possible that nothing's really wrong with the app, despite my suspicion, and that uh, the fuse just blew. But in my experience, that's pretty rare. It could also easily be a bad rectifier tube. All right, in the lead channel. So far, everything seems okay. I need to uh, let this run for a while and take some voltage measurements. In the meantime, I'm gonna call the owner, see if I can get any more information. Uh, but I do not see any real obvious cause, but let me show you why I thought there might be. All right, this amp is shipped like I've seen other ones from the BAD uh, Tone Kings with these wafer base, these coin base, 6L6 WGCs, labeled as 5881s. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that tube, and there's nothing wrong with using it in this app, but they left the bear trap retainers. Now, a bear trap retainer is supposed to grab into a plastic base of a tube, like you'd find here. And you can see the score marks here, where a bear trap has retained this large plastic base on this tube. Oddly enough, however, plastic is much forgiving of having little jagged spikes of metal pressed into it than this glass is. So it's not uncommon to see tubes like this in bear traps like this, and the tubes just shatter from all the pressure on them. That's a lot of, a lot of force on that metal, and the metal has these little spikes. And so all the force is concentrated here and here and here and here. You know, you can't see, there's two on each side of this. So all that force and two little metal spikes digging into the glass. So that's why I had uh, uh, immediate concerns. And that may, you know, turn out to be an issue. Let me call the owner and see if I can get some more information on this. Well, I'm waiting to hear back from the owner about this amp to see if there's any other information that's relevant. Uh, but so far I've done some high volume testing and I've not found any problem with the amp except this. If it's in pentode mode, it sounds fine. Now, I'll make sure the attenuators are all the way up, or no attenuation. If I go to ultralinear, though, that is a ginormous hum. It's a worrying level of hum. That's their ultralinear mode. Well, that hum in the uh, ultralinear mode made me do another look through the app. And I'm very suspicious of this 5 watt 5K here, which you can see has discolored. I didn't see that before, uh, just due to the way the lighting was hitting things on the bench. But uh, I'm gonna change that out and see what results we get. Well, it's very odd. This is the screen node. It's connected to these two caps in series. This is the screen node. And there's a wire here that normally goes to this switch here. That's the common when it's in pentode mode. Each screen is connected there, and there does not seem to be any screen grid resistor present. When it's in ultralinear mode, it actually is using ultralinear taps from the output transformer. That's when you're getting the noise, and I imagine uh, next time I power this up, I will probably measure quite a bit of ripple 
there, and that could be an issue with the transformer itself. Could be could be bad filter caps, but these are new enough. I, I just don't think that's an issue. That's the danger of an ultra linear mode with uh, with any amp is that, and it could just be an issue with these tubes. So once I get this replaced, I'm gonna try some different 6L6s just in case these are defective, which would not terribly surprise me given um, the failure mode and the fact that they, you know, have the bear trap clamp from hell. But this resistor, which is discolored, though it still measures 4.7K, is the dropping resistor going from the screen node to the next stage. Uh, so something downstream is pulling more current than it should uh, with a 5 watt, 5K resistor. Now, I'm out of this value. I went and looked and looked and looked. I don't even have a 10 watt I can temp in there for right now, which is odd. That's a very common value for me to stock. 5k or 4.7k so I've got to order that uh, before I can really resume testing I don't want to do this and risk a fire and that could be uh, an issue with a preamp tube um, or something like that I will find out all the filter caps in the amp looks just as healthy as can be now sometimes that's deceptive and there's a problem though it looks okay but normally if there's a problem with the behavior of one of these filter caps drawing too much current, it's not going to be a very efficient capacitor. And I would hear noise on the two channels, and the two channels sounded just fine. So pending the arrival of this new resistor and putting some different 6L6s in just to see if the ultralinear noise goes away, I'm at a stopping point. And I'm frustrated because I have 6L6s, and I normally have this resistor, but not today.